Hello everyone and welcome back to 50 plus luxury style. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. Today I'm coming to you with my June favorites and can you believe it? We're just already in July. It's unbelievable. But I want to share with you the products that I have been really, really loving. I have some luxury items, I have a fashion item, and I have a couple of beauty products that I want to share with you. So if you're interested in finding out what I've been loving in the month of June, just keep on watching. If you're new, my name is Isabel and welcome. I hope that you enjoy the video and if you do, I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So we are going to start with something that is a new addition to my collection and it is this a beautiful Chanel pearl bag. And even though I have not had her for too long, I really, really used her during the month of June. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I did attend a conference in Las Vegas. And after the conference, my husband flew up and we took the opportunity to spend additional time there. And I have got to tell you that I have worn this bag over and over and over again, and I am loving it. It goes with anything. You can use it to dress up an outfit. You can use it with a pair of jeans and some Tory Burch Miller sandals. Whatever you want to use her for, she just looks terrific. I love the fact that she is kind of like the small size, I believe, and you can fit a little bit more than what you ordinarily could probably fit in a mini. So I really, really like that. And I just have been loving her. The strap is long. However, I just went ahead and while I was in Vegas, I just tied a Louis Vuitton ribbon on the inside of the bag to make the strap a little bit shorter and just used her all over the place. And I'll go ahead and insert a picture or two here so you can see, but I am just loving, loving this bag and very, very happy that I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on this one. So the next item from my luxury favorites is going to be Louis Vuitton. And you know that, that uh, there was no fail that we were gonna have a Louis Vuitton in there because I love Louis Vuitton. And this is the Zoe wallet. I have it in the Empreinte leather in the Rose Poudre color. And I have had her for quite a long time. I actually purchased her when she first came out and I think she was a limited edition back then and now she's just part of the regular Louis Vuitton lineup and you can now get her in all sorts of different colors and combinations, canvas, etc. I started using her a few months ago and I have really, really come to love her. I use her a lot, especially when I have smaller bags like this. She's very very organized. You can put a lot in here. What I really love is that you can put your bills in there and you don't have to fold them, which I don't like to do. So this has been a real favorite of mine. I have used her to no end and really, really have been enjoying her. So this is another June favorite, the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet in the Rose Poudre color. And switching over to fashion, I would say this is a basic. It is this um, Eileen Fisher jean jacket and I have been using it nonstop. And you may be saying, what? You're in South Florida. It's like 90 something degrees and yes it is. However, this is a lifesaver when you're going out to dinner or you're going to certain functions and it's 90 degrees outside and you go into the AC and it's 50 degrees in the AC. So this is great. I also took her to the conference, used her nonstop. You can just throw it in your bag if you have a Neverfull and if you need her, you just pull her out. I have been super impressed. I have always loved Eileen Fisher, no surprise. I have never liked jean jackets. This jacket really, really sold me on the idea of a jean jacket. It is extremely, extremely soft, very comfortable and beautifully made. And of course, I just love the Eileen Fisher brand and what they stand for. So this jean jacket, Eileen Fisher, loving it. 
during the month of June. So now we're gonna switch over to beauty and I just have a couple of things that I wanna share with you. The first thing that I have pretty much rediscovered and pulled out of my collection is the Chanel CC Cream. I had not used this in quite a while because I was really loving the La Mer foundation, which I still love. However, I pulled this out and I find that this is really, really nice, especially now in the summer. I have been using it. That's what I have on today. And I am just wearing this nonstop and just kind of rediscovering the Chanel CC Cream. This is the one with the SPF 50. So love that and uh, really enjoying the Chanel CC Cream. And I have this one in the color 30 beige. Next on the favorites list are two Shantakai products. No surprise, I have fallen head over heels with the brand. And the first thing is this cute little pot right here. And this is the Aqua Blush in the Gladiola color from their summer collection. And I purchased it as soon as it came out and I have been wearing it non, non-stop. I took this to Vegas also and it was wonderful with the heat over there. I don't have it on today. Today I switched it up and I've got the Charlotte Tilbury uh, blush on. But I have been loving this one. It is cracked right there. I don't know if it's because this was mailed to me and then I traveled with it two times uh, to two different places, including Las Vegas. But um, you, I can still use it without any issues. You just go ahead and it's not a, you know, it's not, it's not an issue, but it did kind of crack there in the middle. Um, but I have really been loving it. Like I said, this is from their new summer collection and this cream blush is gorgeous. They have it in a couple of colors, but this one is the Gladiola. The next Chantakai product that I am loving is this one right here. This one was released maybe two months ago, I'm not sure, but this is the Lumiere Rose Illuminating Powder. This was a special edition. However, I think that sometimes you can still find it. I absolutely love it. This is what it looks like inside. Let me try and not blind you. And I have used it, I am using it today, and I just love it. I use it like a highlighter, and I think it's so absolutely beautiful. The packaging, of course, is gorgeous also. And this was a collaboration, and it is so, so pretty. But I love, see how it gives you the highlight right there? I think it's just absolutely stunning. And I've been using this quite a lot and loving it. Last but not least, I've got this right here, and this is the La Mer Tonic, Le Tonique, and I purchased this as a toner, and that's what I have been using it for, and I have been very, very pleasantly surprised. As you can see, it's basically more than halfway done, and I found that this does not dry my skin out, so after I do my two, to my two cleanse, I go ahead and I apply this and it's just refreshing on my skin and I've been liking it, the La Mer Toner. So that's it my friends, those are my June favorites. Let me know in the comments down below what you have been enjoying, what did you like last month and I will see you soon, bye.